Hi guys, this is Paula, aka Naturally Greer, and I am here with my last and final video for A12 Top Naturals contest. Yes, I made it. I made it to the end, and you all kept me in the top three spot for almost all the rounds. Like, I was number three or better for most of these rounds, and I just want to say a big thank you. I thank you for your views, I thank you for your votes, I thank you for your encouraging words. I just thank you. There's no way I could have done this without you. So to my Facebook, my Instagram, my YouTube fam, thank you so much for getting me this far. So this is my last video with this A12 contest. So please view, vote, and support. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Alopecia is a disorder or immunocompromising disease that some women, men, and children do have um, that causes hair loss. And the hair loss can be anywhere on their body from the tops of their head to their face to, you know, neck down. Here are the many forms of alopecia. We are here in CLK Hair Salon to talk to Ms. Linda Clayton about her experience with clientele that have alopecia. Okay, my name is Linda Clayton and the name of my salon is CLK Hair Salon. And I've been in business uh, 17 years, okay. sole ownership. And, but I've been doing hair for 38 years. And I do see um, patients with some form of hair loss. Alopecia, not as often, but I have seen alopecia in the past. And, um, and hair loss, I've helped people, you know, uh, cope with hair loss from stress or medication or trauma. First of all, you have to calm them down because a lot of times, you know, you know, women, we, we love our hair. And when your hair is falling out, you know, it's, it's a rough time. So, you know, I, me, myself, I have to keep myself calm and let them know that it will, it can grow back m most times, 99% mm -hmm. of the time it will grow back. But you have to use certain products. You have to do certain things. Uh, we don't use the chemicals as much in the hair to strengthen it. I always recommend um, the Nioxin Hair Booster first thing to put on it twice a day. It's a serum because if the follicle has hair down underneath, this will help it to grow and to strengthen the follicle and for the hair to come back. It depends with alopecia if the stress level, you know, I always tell them, don't worry, <laughs> because stress may have brought it on in the first place. So you worrying about it is going to make it worse. So I tell them, I say, use the products. It's going to take a little while. I always tell them it's not going to happen overnight. Because if it is going to come back, you know, it may take, sometimes it takes anywhere from weeks to months to year. And I would seek, you know, professional help first 
or if your cosmetologist can't handle it. And I would uh, recommend using really good products on the hair. Okay. And uh, a lot of, you know, uh, with, with our, our culture, uh, moisture and protein. Now we're gonna to speak to a lady that goes by the name of Glendis, who's the founder and owner of an organization called Ballhead Girls. This organization supports women who are forced to go ball as well as those who elect to go ball. She too has alopecia. I know to just say I've been diagnosed with to the push of alopecia and I move on from that. I don't, I don't want to dwell on it. I realize it as a tool to speak with people who I know are hurting or who are dealing with it. I utilize it as a tool for that, but it's not something I, I, I really dwell on. Um, when people ask me what's going on, especially if they see me with hair today and no hair tomorrow, and they'll ask me about it, I'll tell them, well, I was diagnosed with something called cicatricial alopecia, and I'll tell them about it. And, um, and it, it's truly um, it's a tool that I use to educate people on alopecia so that um, they could realize that it's alopecia and not necessarily, it's not cancer. And what happened that there is, uh, it's a different thing. So I guess what I have to say before the pros and the cons of it, for me, the pros is that I don't have to go spend my own time in a hair dresser, hair salon anymore, the whole 24 hours, like the fellowship, but I don't have to do that. I can't say that I could pin one situation down where I really felt I've been to places and I've had people kind of look at me like they weren't sure of my preferences if that makes I'm trying to be politically correct people have a tendency when you have really really short broad hair they have a tendency to categorize you in different categories and I have been um, kind of categorized, but it was truly based on the length of my hair, and I was very aware of that. I think one of the first things I would tell them is to um, remember and consider that their beauty is not determined by their hair. I know that sounds a little cliche, but it's not. Because what I've what I've found in talking with women with alopecia, any all different kind, kinds, types, forms of alopecia. When they find out and they get that diagnosis, they get really upset. Um, they start to feel very self-conscious, whereas they didn't even have those issues of uh, those self-esteem, those self-confidence issues before. But something happens when they find out this is what I have, and they feel that it's a permanent thing or what have you. They start to um, feel like they're not beautiful, uh, or that. I don't want to say um, a less of a woman, but so much of as women, we have been told that our beauty is wrapped in our hair, and that's just not the case. And they just start to feel a little less like that beautiful woman that they felt they were before because they've lost the hair, and that's not the case. And I am a firm believer that that beauty didn't start on the outside; it started on the it started on the inside, and I mean, it may sound cliche, but that's really what I believe. So I would say, don't, don't let that hair, the fact that you're losing the hair, or the fact that you will, you will possibly lose more of the hair, um, dictate to you as far as you know you being beautiful and you thinking that you're beautiful because you are, regardless with the hair or without. It just doesn't define you. Um, my organization is called Ballhead Girls with a Z. And uh, the, the primary purpose um, when I started Bald Hair Girls truly was to inspire, encourage, and help to empower women who was dealing with um, dealing with hair loss and women who had made the choice to cut their hair just because of whatever. So I decided to start Bald Hair Girls just to have um, to gather women together who were bald by choice, bald by force, and to pull all those energies together to encourage each other. I'm Glennis Eugene, owner of Bald Head Girls, LLC. I have alopecia, but alopecia does not have me. I am an alopecia supporter. So stand with me and be an alopecia community supporter. Next time you see someone with short hair or bald hair, whether a man, a woman, or a child, be in support of them. Be in support by not staring, saying something inspiring, or just smiling. Because we all have to be accountable for one another. I 
in the alopecia community supporter.